Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, my cable's getting caught up all over the place. Um, so we are back on the multi-track recorder. Um, I think this is where we left it. I've um, managed to unjoin some of the buttons um and what we're going to do is we're just going to go through so i've done all of these so they're now individual buttons i'll quickly show you how it's done so as you can see here this little lot is all joined together so what we need to do is go to the modifier with our array and just click on apply okay and then we need to We'll not do that. Um, we need to go into edit mode. We select everything. Select P to separate, and then click on by loose parts. And then hopefully, if we go back into object mode, we should just be able to select each one individually excellent and we'll do the same here go to edit a because we want to select them all um, have I done this one hey what's going on what have I done? Oh, right, am I not on? Object mode, select A. So that's only selected one. So can't even see if it's been selected. Right, so that's selected. Go to edit, select A. Select apply on the array. Oh. Select apply in object mode. And then we got to go to edit. Select A to select more and P by loose parts. And then we will do the same on here. So in object mode, apply to the array, go into edit, click, click P and loose parts. And then if hopefully we will have individual buttons, which we do. So this way, if you wanted, you could have say, this one, I want it to be in a mission. So you can, ah, oh, that's what I didn't do. Okay, so we're just going to click on the 20. So then this one, if we wanted, we can have the emission. And then we can have it like red. And we can crank it up a bit. And then if we go in there, yeah, there we go. It's a nice little low sort of effect and we have around about seven let's try five four yeah so you can just like select random ones and then just put whichever ones you want to glow really except you've got to do that again So that, then select a mission, a nice red bright colour, and then what do we have on about four I think it was, just to give it a little glow, so that means that one's in record mode, that one's in record mode. Um, I will tell you what, I will also show you what I've been working on, it's not quite finished yet, um, but it's the overlay um, 
so once it loads up will it load up it doesn't look like it overlay oh here we go i've got the little swirly thing here we go let's see so this is what i've been working on so if we switch off the bottom layer you can see where we are so we just got where the sliders are we've got the mute um tags we've got the escape um select um and then we got to do all the other add in all the other bits so we need to type in source minimum maximum put in the little lines trim um and everything we've got to do all these even put in the little white um volume lines there and as i say we will be using this thing here for the video display so it's certainly getting there what i'll do is when i've done this um i'll put on our patreon page and you can download it um link will be in the uh yeah the link will be in the description below and then once this is all done we can add on the texture um, I'll tell you what I haven't done is I need to find the DP fade to so we just need to get the image just need to get the image up so we can see what we're doing and here we go let's find the gallery and there it is there it is in all its beauty la um right so we've got all the buttons here we've got all the buttons there we've got all these but oh we haven't um we need to object mode we need to go in here we need to apply then we need to loose parts I think we need to do the same here apply and then A and then P loose parts and then we need to do the same on these buttons here must find the array when apply um, and then what we're doing, P and loose parts. So there we go. Everything now should be individual. And it selects it. There we go. So we've got individual buttons, individual sliders. Whoop, whoop. Um, so yeah, it's all good. It's all good to geometry da -da. so there we go we can just move them up and down how we like where we like we can have buttons on buttons off and everything else so anyway we need to copy one of these shift D and then we need to move it on over to about here i reckon so this is like the master volume we also need to um object set origin to geometry so we need to shift d on the x and bring that over and down there's one button looks like there's one there and shift D on the Y so we move that one up there okay and then by the looks of it we can just shift D on the X oh don't want to do that So we want that one. So we want that one. 
and that one we want to shift D and the X there we go it's better so they're here shift D on the X to shift D on the X three you could do, you can use an array if you want shift D on the X I'm just feeling a bit lazy okay I think all that needs to move over by the looks of it so we're going to select that 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 and then we need oh you bugger and then we're just going to move it over because here just over here it looks like there's a oh, monitor monitor level so we need another twisty thing and a button there which looks actually shift D on the X and then that is actually there and then we need another one of those um, set origin to geometry and then we need to shift D on the X and then just bring that back down here so there's that which is the monitor we need just to move that over object geometry we need to shift that over there we also need to change the color on that um, here to red oh don't want to do that we need to now do it to red okay um, we've got another four buttons, three, four, and then shift D on the Y, and then just drag it on down about here by the looks of it. And then oh, there's a lot of buttons on this thing, two, three buttons, shift D on the Y, I think it was. And then just down here, as you can see, as you can see, we've got like the play, the record, stop, forward, rewind, and also record safe by the looks of it. So we're going to need another button. Shift D on the Y. And that is like in line with these by the looks of it. I'm just going to move this over a tad. Okay, now to do these buttons, what we're going to do is do Shift A, and I'm going to do a cylinder. It's probably like going to be a massive cylinder. So we're just going to scale that right the way down, and then again. And then let's just drag it on over. Okay, so this is going to be the record button. Let's just scale that down. It's a relatively large button, but not that large. And then we'll whack it there. Okay. And then There we go, so that's that button, let's just zoom on it. What I'm going to do is go into object, I'm going to delete um, X face, I probably didn't have to do that, but alt 
Alt and select that. And I think it's scale zero. Boom. Okay, and then we're just going to raise that up slightly. But also, I'm going to do a loop cut. Might add a couple of loop cuts. And then on here, we're going to select those and then just raise it up. Just so it's not over the top raised, but um, box. That. Control Z. And then we just need to select those middle ones. And it's just really to give it a little bit of a a buttony feel, I guess. So that's going to be the record button. Okay. And then Shift D on the X. So that's going to be the play button. And then Shift D on the X. And these are going to be the stop, forward, and rewind. So shift. Um, so we need to scale that. I mean, you just got to do this by eye. There's no right or wrong um, way of doing this. But you can see here that the circular buttons are all are like in line with the square buttons. So that's what we're going to do. And then Shift D on the X. Shift D on the X. Shift D on the X. And then I think what we need to do is just give it a And we need to take the roughness down because it's going to be like proper um, uh, glossy, if you like. Let's just give it a smooth shading. Okay, and then I need to do the same. New. Just take it all the way down the bottom there. Take down the roughness. W smooth. Maybe it doesn't need to be that. Maybe just put a little bit of roughness on it. Okay, and then the same here. It'd be the same on all these buttons. Rather than me just keep saying, oh, on the same here, on the same here. Um, what am I doing? Taking the roughness down. Still going to W and smooth shading. And again, take it down there, take down the roughness. Um, W, smooth, new, black. Take down the roughness. W smooth and there's those buttons obviously we'll put in the like the circle the triangle and the white and the stop and the fast forward etc oh bugger um so that is that done whoa okay um by the looks of it I still need to put in one more one two three four button one, two, three, four. I need to duplicate. Let's set the origin to geometry. Shift 
D on the Y. And move that up there. there seems to be quite a lot of um, Shift D on the Y. Move that up there. Seems to be quite a lot of space up there, but I suppose if you think about it, between this button and the top there, you still got the white bar there. You got the name which you got there, and then you got the bar. So it's not doesn't look a million miles out. If you see what I mean. Um, and now we need to put in. The big spinny jog wheel. So shift D, uh, shift A, and we're going to do cylinder. Scale that right the way down. And again, this is going to be the jog wheel that's going to sit on here. So you need to scale that right the way down. Um, and scale it in, I guess it's about that kind of big. Um, and then just fit it in there. Rotation 13.9. Oh, it wasn't a million miles out. So that's the little jog wheel. Let's change yada 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 to local and then we can just slide that up. So we've got a little indent on there as well for your finger to go on. Um right, what else have we got? Oh we've got more buttons. <laughs> we've got one, two, three, four, five, six down the side here. So shift D on the X and then just bring that on up. I rotate on 13.9 and then if we take it on down there and then we can just move it on up. Let's set the origin to the geometry. Bada beam, bada boom. Right, shift D on the Y. Two. Shift D on the Y. Three. Shift D on the Y. Four. Shift D on the Y. So these ones are going to be shift D on the Y. So these ones here are going to be a dark color, like that maybe. Um, let's just copy that hex number, control copy, and then give that one the same color on the hex. And then these ones are all white. Um, and then, by the looks of it, we've got another four buttons. So shift D on the X. So that's, but they've got to come up a little bit, maybe in between. Shift D on the X. Two. Three. Shift D on the X. Four. So that's them. Oh, I'm running out of space. Wonder if we can just make that bigger and move it over, and then we can take these. Come on, Keep it to the center and we'll get them buttons selected. Oh, that's... Ah. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't see that. I oh, can't select the buttons. Oh my god, what the hell? What's a pain that is. Right, there we go. Let's bring it on down. Bring it on, bam, bam, bam. Don't stop. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nah. And, oops, wrong one. Oh, that is funny. That one there. That one. So now they're in the right place. Let's move. These down. Um, and they could come down a bit, actually. Yeah, they could come down a bit. And across. Um, these. Yes. I have to move these down because it kind of goes in the middle there. But it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Um, where are we? And then basically we need um, quite a few of these. Shift D on the e X. Um, so the display is going to go here. Um, what's it? 13.9. 13.9. And then we can pull that up. There. And then we've kind of got... Yeah. Might have to have a little mess about with this. But you get the idea, we'll just shift D on the X. So we've got two there. Shift D on the Y. Yep. With Ah, see I'm learning that. Don't trust it. <laughs> and then shift D on the Y again. But this time we need to create another one. Because this has got three. So we'll just select this one and shift D on the X. So it's very competitive. A lot of it uh competitive, repeti repetitive. <laughs> A lot of it. Because all it is is buttons and twiddly bits. Shift D on the Y. So that's that one. And believe it or not, we need, oh god, another three. In fact, we need, luckily enough, that many. Shift D on that Y and bring that down here. So we need to bring that down. And then we need to bring those two across, I think. Whoop. And that's how that is at the moment. And by the looks of it, we've got control D on the Y. Looks like we've got four little buttons as well. Um, so we need to make that uh, local on the 13.9 degrees obviously yours might be a bit different than 13.9 um, and then we just need to bring it down but we need to scale it down because they're only like little buttons the little wee wee buttons let's just focus on that and then let's just move that off a tad let's do a shift D on the Y, I think it was. Uh, 
and yeah, that's okay. And then Shift D on the Y, and then we just move that across, and then Shift D on the X. So we've got the four buttons there as well. Um, I think knees just need moving across. And there we have all the buttons. Let's just save that. Save. See what that looks like. Yes, it's looking pretty down good. Oh, even if I do say so myself. So the next um, video we will be, I guess, texturing. So that's our one. That's the one we've done at the moment. And then that's the picture. That's not bad, is it? Oh, we've got to do the little light, the little green lights as well, the record uh, mute. We've got to do the mute. So we need a little green Um, maybe that, oh, they're not even buttons anyway, are they? They're just, that's just a label, so I've got to take them out. So that's all it is, is like little spheres down here. Little spheres, and that's just all text to mute. By the looks of it, I don't know. I'll investigate, I'll investigate and find out. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, maybe tomorrow, what I might just do is just quickly jump back onto the house tomorrow. Um, get a few bits done on there as well. Because the multi-track recorder is going to be a part of a bigger project, I guess you could say. It'd be like a new, a new project. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, comment down below. Whatever you've got to say, just drop your comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.